Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have any of the following three cars, I'm talking about Ram Pro Master City, Fiat 500X and Fiat Toro, guys. And you have, guys, any of the following five codes I'm talking about. Okay, I'm talking about code, guys, P0137, 138, 139, 140, okay, and 141. If you have any of this code, we'll explain most likely what causes that. We'll demonstrate on a 2.4 multi-air engine that has been used in all these three cars. Now, even if you have a different engine, the procedure will be very similar, guys. So make sure, guys, you stay until the end. Uh, why we have the engine out of the car? Uh, because we did an engine replacement, guys. In the meantime, we made about 100 videos, guys. We showed you how to remove and replace almost anything on that engine. Number two, guys. Uh, we're in the process of making about 100 videos for common problems, diagnostics, and engine codes. Why we make so many videos? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, guys, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Many of you guys constantly ask me in the comment section below, where do you get your tools and parts from? Because we always get a good deals on tools and parts, guys. Uh, we'll share the links in the description of the video below. Check it out, guys. All the tools and parts that we use, we share them there. Another thing, you can see more about the scanner that we use the most here the shop you can see our favorite scanner okay and we'll talk about that more it's just charging here right now uh, because we use it all the time but this is guys the engine right here 2.4 multi air engine this is a super popular engine guys you will have a, a original black upper engine cover and you will see ours as we go i'll show you with the original cover as seen from before another thing guys okay let's get to the codes what causes any of these five codes okay it's caused most likely guys by a downstream oxygen sensor this is known as oxygen sensor number two or in some cases as WAMD sensor number two. Now what that means guys the downstream oxygen sensor it's very important because it actually uh, uh, actually keeps check of the catalytic converter make sure the catalytic converter is doing its job uh, job it's cleaning uh, it's cleaning the uh, the exhaust gas guys and you're not polluting but also it's important for the engine operation as well so uh, stay with us next thing guys what we're going to do you will see the engine when we got it out of the car still had the exhaust manifold exo uh, oxygen sensors and we will show you guys where that sensor is located what needs to be done to remove and replace it so you will see next scene the engine put together and you'll see it with a black upper engine cover so let's go ahead and continue now coming down guys this is your exhaust manifold right here and facing this way okay the first sensor is known as upstream oxygen sensor or sensor one this sensor now guys tells the engine how much air how much fuel to adjust and all that stuff the second sensor is on the right side okay right here and this is the one guys okay that actually is responsible for the mixture uh, for the catalytic converter excuse me that one uh, tells okay the computer if the catalytic converter is performing correct so how you guys remove and replace, replace those things? Right here you can see you have the wire, okay. The white wire is for the downstream oxygen sensor. Press down here, okay, pull it out guys, just like that. After that, okay, let me show you what else we'll need to use. There is a special socket for removing oxygen sensors. And it's pretty handy using that socket, otherwise guys, you can damage the sensor and at that point you won't be able to remove it and it will be a big mess you might need to buy a new exhaust manifold so that socket you can find the link in the description of the video below guys okay what you do you get through the wires okay check out how you go through the wires that's amazing you go on the side of it okay and you just remove it guys might be really tight it really depends when was last time it was removed those things will get super tight sometimes this one wasn't so bad go ahead and screw it guys this is the sensor right here you can see so that's how you guys remove it practically not too bad right if you need to buy one we have the link in the description of the video below in addition guys okay uh installation practically is in reverse order we took it apart so that's how you guys remove and replace downstream oxygen sensor most of the times it will be a bad sensor or a bad connector make sure the wires are not melted as well uh, that's the most common reason guys that we see here at the shop for that code also we have three channels guys as you know auto repair guys is our most popular channel and we help more than 65 million people guys so it's super super 
uh, growing guys so check it out okay we have many videos that can help you world mechanics is the channel you're watching now and we'll have more diagnostics and electrical videos on electrical car repair life so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time